honor to be part of the team of people who worked on ADA 25 Chicago, which was in 2015, five years ago now, to recognize the 25th anniversary of the ADA. And it was a great moment because, you know, we celebrated, we recognized the, the gap, and we really hope to see changes by capitalizing on that moment to bring greater attention to the areas in which the spirit of the law has not yet been met. You know, there's a lot of opportunity uh, in employment, in education, in community living, and more, in which people with disabilities still have greater disadvantage than others. You know, I am, not to reveal my age, but I am four days younger than the ADA. So I was privileged to be born at a time in which the ADA existed from the moment I came into this world. And because of that, you know, I grew up understanding that I had civil rights as someone with a disability. I understood, even though maybe not in minutia and not in detail, that just because I have a disability, one that is visible, one that is physical, uh, that I had a right to try and live my life exactly how I would want to, live where I want to, go to school where I want to, uh, work where I want to. And because of that right, I've had the privilege of having the experience of going after dreams and going after things that many people over my life have told me would not be possible. They didn't think that someone with a disability would be able to do the things in my life that I've done, whether it's traveling abroad or going to a top school in the U.S. or living away from family and friends in a new city. But I've done all of that. And, and it's only really possible because I grew up knowing and understanding that I had a right to those aspirations. Uh, but at the same time, you know, I also recognize that having the privilege of knowing that right is different than what actually happened. And there's so many instances of discrimination that happened too. So my hope really though, in recognizing the 30th anniversary is continuing to move forward and closing that gap that exists for so many people with disabilities still, particularly uh, people of color with disabilities indigenous people with disabilities, uh, those who are LGBTQ and more with disabilities because there is so much more that we need to fight for.